Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. If you are new, thank you so much for joining us. I have a fun, exciting video to share with you guys. Very informative today, so stick around and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Also, if you are new, I do lifestyle, motherhood, um, homemaking videos, so if you want to stick around for that, hit that subscribe button for that too. Okay, as you can see by the title, today we are going to be talking about money. I know that's like a sensitive topic for a lot of people, including me, but I feel like I have to make this video for you guys, otherwise I wouldn't be true to myself. I really want to share a, you know, how we really save for our house because I think that a lot of people can relate to the ways that we took the time out this year to put money into our account so that we could buy a house during a pandemic and these same techniques will probably, you can probably apply them even if there wasn't a pandemic. I do feel like I should share that with you guys because a lot of people are probably wondering like, how do I even start? Where do I start? How would I get the money? What happens if I don't qualify for this program? Like all of those. So I'm here to answer those questions. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna begin this video as a disclaimer. I'm not going to lie, and I've said this plenty, plenty of times, that the pandemic has helped us save a huge amount of money in this particular time. And in the title, as you can see, we saved 10K. Well, almost 10K, I should say. And it probably would have been about 10K or more had we pushed it out our house hunting journey, but we didn't want to. First things first, me going to work from home really helped because I was able to take Luna out of daycare and save. Now, I will say the first beginning, so we started our house journey back in March. That is when we first applied for a loan and we did not qualify because of a number of things. Mainly because of federal debt, which would have been student loans. And then we also had a high debt to income ratio. And then we also had, I'm trying to remember all of the factors. And then I think Isaac, my husband, his credit score needed to get higher. So we were able to set goals. Okay, here's how we could save just in case. Cause my mom sat me down she's like, look, you would, you may need at least 12 or $13,000 by the time you find a house. And she was like, do you have that? And we were like, no. <laughs> so that was a starting point of our savings progress outside of the other things. I've already told you guys about the other things in which you need to qualify. So I'm not gonna even jump into that, but that was a starting point of you know us thinking about saving. So around March is when, of course, everything hit the fan when it came to this pandemic. And Luna, uh, her daycare let her stay on for maybe two more weeks, before, like when the state shut down and they were finally like, well, only kids who have parents with essential jobs can come. So she was out and they paused our payments. And back then when they paused our payments, we were just like, oh, more money in our pocket. But we were like, oh, we, we, maybe we should start saving. And we didn't quite save, start saving right then and there. But we were like, hmm, like, should we, you know, what do we do? So we kind of like waited. So that was March, then April came. And then she went back at the end of April because they opened back up. So she went back at the beginning of May. So, you know, within March and April a month, we, we really did not save. And we pay weekly for daycare. So, you know, whatever, she went back. Then it got, things got bad. And I was just like, you know what? She's got to come out. She's got to come out. I can't risk it and we can save money. But that's when we were really getting serious about saving. And so, you know, we took the money that we paid for daycare, put it in savings. So it was kind of like just okay in daycare, which was a start. Now I know that, you know, not everybody's working from home, but if you're working from home, that is an option. What money you would have been spending on childcare, take it and put it in daycare or into your savings. Whether it be for a house or just for a rainy day, put it in your savings, still act like you're paying that bill. So whatever bills you can eliminate, I guess is my point. What bills you eliminate, put it in your savings. So the next big thing stimulus checks came i'm not gonna lie a lot of people probably was like oh i got my stimulus and i'm gonna pay this and i'm gonna or i'm gonna use buy this well guess what we did <laughs> in the savings and i know that obviously we're not gonna always get a stimulus obviously well, clearly we're not because we only got one but if you got some kind of 
bonus at work. I know a lot of companies give bonuses during holiday times. If you got some kind of extra pay or anything of some sort, I honestly suggest you put it in the same. Because why not? You know, why would we go so crazy as to spend money that you already probably extra money you wouldn't have regardless? Why would you go so far and then spend it and, and you know, for what? When you could save it because it's a blessing in disguise and that's what the stimulus, you know, was for, for you to be able to do things. But we decided the smart decision would be to put it in the face. And again, I know that this is not an everyday thing, but my point here is that any extra money you come across, save it. So here we are at the end of the year and you know what happens in the beginning of the year, tax time. Save them. <laughs> That's it. If you get money back on your taxes, you know, not everybody gets tax money back, but if you do, save it. <laughs> save it because it is so much easier to just not spend that money and save up something like that. And, and, and you guys are probably like, you know what, you're telling me all the things that are just so hard, but really it comes down to a plan and having a plan and thinking, okay, what is my plan? How can I get to this number? And we set the goal of 10K. And so we knew, you know, weekly, like I will say the majority of our savings came from stimulus checks and taxes, but the other half of it really did come from us saving the daycare money, saving, you know, maybe not getting my nails done, maybe not doing this, not doing that, and just putting it in savings. Going back on the daycare tip, I forgot to mention, not only did we put what we would pay in daycare, we actually put $50 extra. So we pushed it because we were like, okay, this is how much, like, we could save a thousand dollars a month by doing this and that's what we did for since june which brought us here to this point where we were able to have a down payment putting any extra money like any extra bills that you were able to free up putting that money in savings any extra money that you come across put that in savings and also if you know now that we are getting close to tax time taxes because now that we are at the end of the year tax time is uh, a definite it's easy way to spend because that's, again that's extra money that you wouldn't even know that you were coming across anyway so why not take it and then cutting back cutting back on you know things going places um i think one thing the pandemic has taught us is that you don't need to go out all the time and so not going out to eat over the weekends not you know going to the malls not going you know any to any activities or parties i think those are areas where you could take that extra money and, and budget and say okay well normally i would spend x amount on entertainment a week well take that x amount put it in your savings okay normally we spend x amount on going out to eat a week okay take that money and put it in your savings it's just that easy and just cutting back and taking whatever extra money you spend here and there where you can cut it I would suggest putting it in your savings and that's the realistic way because as a person who only makes a um, what do you call it we are middle class people and I'm pretty sure a lot of my viewers are in very similar situations these are just the easiest way to save because we don't make boo money to be like, oh, well, I got this and I can save this. Like, you actually have to have a plan. And I definitely think that what we did was look over our finances, look over our checks, look over our bills and say, where do we have extra money? Do you need extra spending money this week? Nope, let's put it in the savings. Do we, are we going to be okay? Well, I don't drive, so I don't spend as much money on gas anymore. So that gas money goes into savings. It's just easy like that. And it's realistic because you have an actual budget and an actual plan. So those were a few tips and those were a few ways we saved, but I feel like a lot of people probably identify with that, especially during this time right now. And so number one thing would just be plan ahead, budget, you know, really take the time out. I'm not gonna, you know, get into budgeting because budgeting looks different for a lot of people, but definitely think about your entertainment expenses, your um you know gas do you work from home now and you don't spend gas money like oh well i used to spend 
I probably spent a good $50 on gas a week. Why can't that $50 now go, you know, to savings or at least half of it, $25? Whatever amount you can put into your savings, it doesn't have to be big amounts, but make it work for your budget where it's not hurting you, where really it's not affecting you at all. So if you normally put $50 in your gas tank, but now you only put $25 because it was a tank for the week because you don't go nowhere, then take that other $25 and put it into your savings account. And set up a savings account where you're not always constantly pulling out because that's a habit too. And just, you know, those are just easy ways I feel like anybody can do. Like I said, if you come into extra money like we did, if we do happen to get another stimulus check, plan ahead for that plan. Like, do we really need the money for bills or for anything extra? Or can we take some of the money and put it in our savings and some of it we use it to get ahead? Uh, plan ahead and budget. Those are the biggest tips I have because if we did not, I can tell you now, I wouldn't be talking about buying a house. I wouldn't be telling you I'm buying a house. I wouldn't have had the money to be confident enough to put a contract on a house. So definitely look over your finances and set an attainable goal. So 10K was attainable for us because the stimulus check and the taxes that we got this year because we didn't go anywhere. We didn't have anything to do. So it was like, why not, you know? But it might have been half of that maybe you know maybe maybe it would have been the same if we had a full year of, of, of normalcy you know but that is what we did and that's why it was attainable but if 10k is not attainable for you set 5k 2k 3k whatever it is and set timeline so let's say you say and that's kind of what we did we were like okay by the end of november we should have this much by the end of december we should have this much set those attainable goals and i promise you if you don't set something that's way too high and you set something that's more realistic you will get that faster so I hope this video was helpful if you do have any questions always leave them in the comments or hit me up on my social media mainly instagram that's where you can find me thank you so much for watching and i really do hope this was helpful for somebody out there and yes like go out there and go for it and make sure you say and y'all know I'm here to send y'all some positivity during this time. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys soon.